Hey, what's going on everybody? Josh Quinones here and I got two devices right here in front of me, the brand new OnePlus 7 Pro and the previous model, the OnePlus 6T. Today we're going to be putting the two head to head to see which one is the fastest. If the OnePlus 7 Pro is actually a lot faster coming from the OnePlus 6T or will the OnePlus 6T be able to keep up with the OnePlus 7 Pro? We're going to find out in this speed test. Both devices do have 8 gigabytes of RAM. The OnePlus 6T has 128 gigabytes of internal storage, while the OnePlus 7 Pro has 256 gigabytes of storage. Both are the T-Mobile versions, and the OnePlus 6T is running the older Snapdragon 845 processor, and the OnePlus 7 Pro is running the newer Snapdragon 855 processor. So let's go ahead and get this speed test started. Shout out to my boy Flash. It's not a true speed test without the true speedster in the house. So let's go ahead and get this started up with a boot up test to see which one will boot up the fastest here we go in three two one and there they go they are off let's see which one will boot up the fastest let's see let's see and it looks like the one plus 60 is coming out ahead Oh, but the OnePlus 7 Pro did go ahead and start up the fastest. So both devices are booted up and ready to go. The OnePlus 7 Pro did start up just a little bit faster than the OnePlus 6T. But as far as both devices overall, just scrolling back and forth from screen to screen, going into the app drawer, they are both super snappy. You cannot go wrong when it comes to speed with either of these devices. Now, this one does have the 90 hertz refresh rate and this one does not, but either way, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, on camera, it's gonna be hard to tell either way. Here in person, you can see that this is a little bit more smoother, but honestly, there is not that big of a difference. They're still both super snappy, very, very fast. Um, I mentioned this in past videos before that the OnePlus 6T is one of the fastest devices that I did use of 2018. And even up till this day, it is still one of the fastest devices out there. These devices are really built for speed. So you can see both snappy, both keep up with each other just well. But the real test is to see which one will be able to open apps faster and remember to keep them open when we do the RAM management test, when we go back and see if the games are still running, if the clock is still running. So we're gonna test all that out. I just wanted to kind of show you how snappy both of these devices are, especially the OnePlus 6T with it being the older device. So let's go and get the speed test started. Make sure no apps are running in the background. As you can see there, everything is good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with the clock. I got the clock app up there. And here we go in three, two, one. And it looks like it was just about a tad faster on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Let's go ahead and get the time going. And we'll go ahead and leave that running there. Let's go ahead and go home. Let's go ahead and open up the camera in three, two, one. Just a little bit faster on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Go ahead and leave that open. Let's go to calculator in three, two, one. Just a little bit faster on the OnePlus 7 Pro. But like I said, it's just by a little bit. So let's go ahead and go into a little bit of gaming here. We got Subway Surfers. Here we go in three, two, one. Let them both load up. As you can see, they both go into game mode automatically. And it was faster on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Let me go ahead, turn the volume down a little bit on both of these devices here. Now I did get an ad pop up on this one, but let's go ahead and start the games here. There we go, both running good. So let me go ahead and go home on both of these. We'll leave them running and then we'll come back to them later on to see if they're still running in the background, if we will still be able to resume the game where we left off. All right, so next we got a lot of a heavier game here. We got PUBG Mobile, which always takes a lot for any device to open up. So let's go ahead and do this in three, two, one. And they are off. And as you can see, it automatically turns on the gaming mode once again to give you a better gaming experience on either of these devices. And it looks like the OnePlus 7 Pro is ahead with the OnePlus 6T right behind it. But it does look like the 7 Pro is going to finish first. And there it goes. It is all done. Let me collect the rewards here. There we go. Leveling up. This one's still... There we go. The OnePlus 6T just finished up there. So... The OnePlus 7 Pro did win that test. Sorry, I got to go through all of this stuff just to get to the home screen. All right, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and leave this open in the background. Hopefully the game will stay open. Let me go home on both devices. All right, now for the next test, let's go ahead and open up Twitter in three, two, one. 
And it was done first on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Let me go ahead and go home on both of them. As you can see, both scrolling good, nice and smooth. There we go. So let's go ahead and go home. Next is YouTube. Here we go in three, two, one. And both about the same, it looked like. But look at this. The video started playing first on the OnePlus 6T. So that is pretty surprising. All right, let's go ahead and go with Unbox Therapy in three, two, one. And they are both playing right at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and actually go home. And of course, I'm going to have to exit out of it down there. But we'll go back and see if it's still on that same spot of the video. So let's go ahead and go into PowerDirector. This is the video editor I use on both of these devices right here. I went ahead and recorded a 30-second 4K video on each of these devices. We're going to go ahead and go into this app and render them. See which one will render it the fastest. So first, let's see which one will open it the fastest. So here we go in three, two, one. Looks like the OnePlus 7 Pro is ahead, but the OnePlus 60 did come up and pass it up just by a little bit. So I got to give that one to the OnePlus 6T. So let's go ahead and start a new project on both of these. Got to go into the camera. Here is my 30 second 4K video. Let me do the same thing over here. Camera, 30 second 4K video, use original. And then we're going to go ahead and produce the video on both of these. There we are, safety gallery. This is quite the process. So let me go ahead. I'm going to do it at 30 frames per second on each device. Let me change this to 30 frames per second. All right, and then we are going to produce them in three, two, one. See which one renders it the fastest. And it looks pretty close. They are both pretty much going at the same speed. I am surprised. But it does look like the OnePlus 7 Pro is ahead just by a little bit. It's getting ahead even more now. Let's see which one will finish first. I'm sure the OnePlus 7 Pro is getting a lot more ahead now. As you can see, they're almost at 100%. There we go, 100%. And this one coming up in 3, 2, 1... 100% right there. So the OnePlus 7 Pro did handle that a lot better. So let me go ahead. Let's see. I've done that. All right, let's go ahead and press home. Okay, and lastly, we have the Chrome browser here in 3, 2, 1. Here we go, and it looks like the OnePlus 6, actually, the OnePlus 7 Pro is done. It did take a while for this little ad to pop up, so I do got to give that one to the OnePlus 7 Pro. Let's go ahead and load up a website here to see how fast it will go into a website. As you can see, we got OnePlus ready to go here, so we'll go ahead and go into the OnePlus website in 3, 2, 1. And it looks like the 7 Pro was just a bit faster. So there we have it, the speed test. It did look like the OnePlus 7 Pro won most of the rounds, while the OnePlus 60, I think maybe won two of those rounds, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm gonna have to go back into the video and check that out. So let's go ahead and check out RAM management. Now let's go ahead and go into the clock and see if it is still keeping track of that time. There we go. Time still running in the background, so that's good. Let's go into the camera. Obviously, it's just gonna pop up where it always is. And let's go into the calculator. Calculator's fine. And let's go into Subway Surfers here. Both still ready to go and keep playing. Now, the big one is PUBG. Let's go ahead and open this up. Both still good and ready to start playing. So that's pretty good, because that is a very heavy game. I was thinking that the OnePlus 60 was going to have to start that one over, but it actually did pretty well. Like I said, both of these have eight gigabytes of RAM and that RAM management works very well. So let's go ahead and go into Twitter. Still right where we left off. Let's go into YouTube. Still right at the video that we left off, ready to play. So that's looking good as well. Let's go into the Power Director, right where we left off, and then the Chrome browser. There you go. So RAM management on both is actually very good. You're not going to have any problem with having to start any previous apps over if you have to go back to them uh, a little later after using them. So RAM management is good on both. As far as speed goes, both are very fast devices. Obviously, the OnePlus 7 Pro is a lot faster than the OnePlus 6T. Actually, I wouldn't even say a lot faster because the OnePlus 60 did keep up pretty well. It is still a very fast device. Now, one thing I do want to test out before we end this speed test is the fingerprint sensor to see if it is a lot faster coming from the OnePlus 60 to the OnePlus 7 Pro. So let's go ahead and test it out in three, two, one.
Oh, let's try it again. Three, two, one. And yes, the OnePlus 7 Pro did open up a bit faster. Let's try it one more time in three, two, one. Yes, the fingerprint sensor is faster on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So we did get improved speed with that as well. But there you have it. This was the speed test between the OnePlus 6T and the OnePlus 7 Pro. Hopefully this helped anybody out that was maybe thinking of upgrading from the OnePlus 6T to the OnePlus 7 Pro. Either way, with either of these devices, you can't go wrong. Both great devices. But leave your thoughts down in the comment sections below if the results turned out the way you thought they were. Let me know if you think these devices are truly as fast as they look or as everybody is claiming them to be. Leave your thoughts down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a huge thumbs up on this video if you did find it helpful. And if you did like it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. And also hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. But for now, thank you all so very much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.